Welcome to our introductory video on the Sugar CRM connector for Google Apps. Uh, the purpose of this particular connector is to provide uh, the facility to archive emails, save attachments and create records from directly within your uh, Google Apps email interface. So what we're seeing here is a uh, actually a promotional email from uh, our friends over at Xero.com. Uh, and what I'm doing is using that email to demonstrate the functionality of the connector. You'll see that within the Gmail interface we get this um, toolbar down the bottom, which is our connector, uh, and that allows us to then save that email or create new records. So for example, if I uh, receive a support request from a client, I can uh, hit the Cases button, uh, and that will pre-populate the cases uh, form with the company name uh, and the associated contact. Okay, um, it works that out based on the email addresses associated with the email. It populates the subject and the body of the description from the email itself. Uh, the layout of these forms is specifically generated dynamically from the studio layouts within Sugar CRM. Uh, and has full support for um, all of your common field types and custom modules as well. So um, you can customize the layout of the forms uh, as they would appear in your Google gadget within the Sugar CRM Studio itself. So you've got complete flexibility from that point of view. Okay, it's very fast. Okay, we've written it specifically from that point of view. Okay, um, all of the autocomplete fields uh, uh, are fully you know, functional from the point of view of looking up data um, in real time within your database um, and once you're ready to go um, all you do is you simply hit uh, save that will uh, save the record, push it to the CRM link up all of the related uh, company details, contact details and so on uh, to the associated record and you're good to go. Now just so that you're aware, uh, any relate field specifically linked to the companies or, or accounts or, or contacts modules will be pre-populated with um, a map um, based on the email addresses so it's fairly intelligent about how it finds those, uh, those matches. Uh, on the other side of things, let's say we wanted to uh, archive this particular email, I simply hit uh, save email uh, and what it does, it leverages the um, email addresses within the email itself again to find uh, specific uh, records that we want to be able to search or, or uh, attach the email to. It will only search those uh, module types that have relationships uh, with the emails module itself, okay, including custom modules if you choose to enable that. Okay, um, and it's simply found those automatically. Now, if I don't find uh, the result I'm after uh, from that particular search, uh, I can, for example, um, do an alternative search up the top there, uh, at which point it will search uh, additional uh, uh, records there. Okay, so once I'm ready to go, I simply save that email. This will save the, the full copy of the email, including attachments against the record within the CRM and we are good to go. Okay, so we uh, this is simply a version one uh, of, um, of this connector. It's been under development for some time. Uh, there's obviously a fair bit uh, behind the um, uh, making it work for uh, within the Google framework with single uh, points of authentication and to enable rolling the system out across um, any sized organization with a with a single you know, one-click process. Um, so once we have this rolled out, um, we're planning to add additional features such as, uh, you know, live information around recent notes, recent activities, cases, and so on about the particular um, person that um, that sent you a, uh, an email. Um, uh, in addition to that, we've got a, a range of new features coming, um, and we'll expand on those as they uh, become available. Thank you for uh, watching our video.